Okay, the first step is kind of the most important step, and that is to make sure you don't have anything currently open. Uh, it's going to mess things up if you do. So I'm going to open up contact 6.7. And the first thing we're going to do is look for this kind of this window menu. I think that's what it is. Uh, and then we're going to click on outputs. Okay, now here's the deal. I've done more than one take of this video, and so I've already been through this process. So it's loading up what I did in the last take. Let's pretend like we only see stereo uh, one and then a bunch of boxes. Doesn't matter. We're going to hit the plus sign. And uh, quantity, how many channels do we want? And number of channels, that's asking if you want stereo or mono. Do stereo, so keep it as two. And then quantity, how many do we want? Let's say we want to do 10. And then uh, sound card host output, you can make this uh, stereo one as a default. Um, I'll give you further instructions in a minute. Ascending output assignment, that's probably good to keep that checked. Delete existing channels before creating new ones. Yes, let's do that so it doesn't get confusing. Make this your default configuration. Save you some time in the future. Let's say yes. And then click OK. Output configuration was saved as default. Now, we are not done yet. We're about halfway done. So now Contact has these outputs ready. Uh, but my DAW, I mean, I'm in Cubase. Uh, it does not have the output set up. So we have to go to over to this uh, activate outputs. And then we need to add these. And then you can't see my mixer right now, but it's adding audio channels to the mixer. Um, so now when we pull up the mixer, and I'm going to make sure my monitoring is on. Now we pull up the mixer. Uh, and load an instrument. Let's load up tempo. That was our first drum instrument that we did. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we can take these and pick which outputs we want to use. Now, for tempo, I'm going to go ahead and send the kick to stereo 2. The reason being is that will bypass the effects. And if you're Taking these outside of contact, I'm assuming you want to use your own effects. So we'll just say kick is on stereo two. And then we can go on down. This is three, four, five, so on. Um, and then looking at our mixer here, you can see how these now have their own channel. Uh, this really comes in handy, especially if you want to if you do any side chaining with your kick drum, it kind of needs to be separate from the rest. So getting that on its own output uh, is a really good thing. But that's basically all you have to do. If you're in Logic, the process is going to be a little bit different. There's a million tutorials on YouTube that you can look up specific to Logic, but I think it's going to make you like create a 16 output option from the beginning. And then it's going to do part of the work for you. But then in your mixer, there's a little uh, plus sign, I believe where you can duplicate your contact channels to match up with what you see in contact. But if you want a deeper dive on that, just uh, they're, they're all over YouTube. So hope that was helpful.